Hi, I'm Sam, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Lionel 3-Rail O-Scale Norfolk Southern SD90 Max. So before we go over Lionel's version, I want to give you a little bit of history on the SD90 Max. They were originally introduced in 1995, and they were going to be the biggest and most powerful engines ever made with 6,000 horsepower. However, with technical difficulties in the engine, they were only shipped out with 4,300 horsepower. Instead of being called SD90 Max from then on, they were known as SD90 43s because they only had 4,300 horsepower. Norfolk Southern has changed some of them to SD70 ACUs because they still have the same number of horsepower. They just changed the cab to an ACE cab and added the new Ultra Cab 2 unit. It had a bunch of new safety features that some of the Conrail engines used. The real SD70... ACU number 7245 was just rebuilt as of last year, 616, and this model does not have the ACU cab. The ACU cab has lights up here, and the number boards also moved, but this engine has the SD90 Mac cab. Let's go over some stats and facts about this locomotive. Under the hood, there are legacy rail sounds, and you can run this engine with the legacy, which is preferred, the classic TMCC, or just the standard transformer. There are two flywheel motors, and there's also a smoke unit. The length of the engine is about 19 inches, and the minimum curve need to operate this engine is 036. Starting down here, we have another one of those removable snow plows. If you watch my SD60E review, I talked a little bit about those. So if you don't know what those are, go watch that video. We have an operating electrocoupler up here in the front. We have operating ditch lights here. A nice iron here. Another no plate here in the front. I guess Lionel has stopped doing that. There are also some handrails here. Lighted number boards here. A lighted headlight and uh, so a few of uh, a few cast in details up here. Some sandboxes. The front of the cab looks nice. You have the windows, the window wipers, and some rails up here. Here on the side of the engine, you can see the sandbox a little bit better. Here is the number. Looks very nice. Now underneath it, you'll realize that it says SD70 ACU but it's actually an SD90 Mac cab. So I find that very funny that Lionel messed that up. I guess they just decided to write that on this engine. I don't know what happened, but it's an SD70 ACU, but the cab is wrong, or it's an SD90 Mac, and the letters are wrong. Either way, this engine's a little bit wonky that way, but that's still okay. You have the little F up here, and for those of you who didn't know, that means it's the front of the engine. And you have the cab, the little crew figure inside, there's another one on the other side, and the windows do open. Looking down here, you can see we have some nice cast-in detailing here. The truck looks very nice, a lot of cast-in detailing, but that still looks really good. Moving down the side of the locomotive, you can see we have some nice legible plates up here, as well as a nice Norfolk Southern logo, a nice fuel tank with the air... Uh, pumps right there, the fuel gauge, and the little bell there. We also have the horn up here, you can kind of see that. And moving on towards the back of the engine, you can see we have a few more of those plates. Here on the back of the engine, you can see those legible signage there. You can see we don't have the snow plow on this end, but of course that is because it's on the other end right now. We have a nice logo here. We have the very interesting ventilation system there. There's also some nice cast-in uh, or separately applied handrails to get to the top of the locomotive. And we have a nice um, operating backlight, nice number board there, uh, not operating. And we don't have any operating ditch lights. Of course, we have the chain and whatnot. This back is very unique. The back, the, there's a little bit on the back that just jolts out instead of just coming together right there. And there's also a little bit right here 
that sticks out on both ends. On the top of this engine, there's really not much to see besides the vents. We do have um, the operating smoke unit, and you just pour smoke directly down there to have smoke coming out. We have the horn, the vents, and of course this just pops off to reveal one of the motors, the 9 volt cage, and the controls for the locomotive. And that's all for the top. On the bottom of the locomotive, you can see more of the snowplow detail. Two, we have two pickup rollers for truck, which is very interesting. So you have two, four. Under here, we have the IR transmitter to the LCS sensor track, and two big boy speakers. So this engine sounds like a beast. You can sort of see the bell a little bit better here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's also a little swinger inside that you can actually see. And on the back end, not much, but the, it's exactly like the front end. Here's a look at the other side of the locomotive. Not much difference from the front, the other end, except the rail comes up to here. I don't know why there's not a door on this side. There's a door on the other side, but I don't know why there's not one on this side. If you do know, comment below and let me know, because I've seen a lot of engines, you know, especially all the ES44s and whatnot have them as well so if you know why there's no door on this end let me know but one of the other distinct things about the SD90s or SD70 ACUs was this compartment I don't know what it's for but there's a little compartment there now since this is such a beast of an engine Lionel changed the sound set on this a little bit it's just like any other normal engine but it sounds a little bit higher pitched you'll hear it when i start it up right now i'm going to do the extended startup sequence by pressing and holding the on button this is a dispatcher do you copy copy that reach your fine over okay start her up stand by for track orders roger that holding for your signal out All right, let's go ahead and listen to the horn. Here's the bell. And here's some crew talk. They have a sound for fuel filling up the engine. And you can hold it for as long as you want. And now let's go ahead and listen to the 8 RPM levels of this engine.
the coupler sound is different and it sounds very nice too. Alright, let's go ahead and set this on sequence control mode and roll it out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. This engine does come in many different paint schemes. The one I reviewed today was Norfolk Southern. There's also Union Pacific, Canadian Pacific, and Indiana Railroad. That's all for now. I'm Sam, and I'll see you next time.